Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're all having lots and lots of fun. I can, I can hear that out in the audience today. I'm Brenda Payne, the President and CEO here at the Hendersonville Area Chamber of Commerce. And I want to welcome all of you to our June luncheon. We are so delighted to see all of you here. And we have a number of special guests that you're going to hear from a little later. So we're really happy to see all of our seasoned faces and some new fresh faces in the audience as well. We have a lot of awards and recognitions today, and we're so glad you're here to uh, help us with this ceremony. One of the things that we routinely do, and I want to let you know that instead of us unveiling this, this month, we wanted to make sure that we had all of the folks on there. So our partner banner is going to be coming up next month, and we'll make a much bigger to-do of that. But I do want you to know who our partners for the 2014-15 year are because they're very special to us. Bluegrass Yacht and Country Club, First State Bank, woohoo, yes, Patty, absolutely. First State Bank, the Hendersonville Star News, Olympian Construction, Sam's Club, Smith Travel Research, and One Stop Realty. Would you all please give them a round of applause? As we do every month, we want to have our, our pledge and our invocation, and we've asked Dr. Charles Lee to come and lead us in both of those. So, Dr. Lee, would you welcome him, please? Thank you, Brenda. Would you bow with me, please? Oh, gracious Father, we thank you so much for the beauty of this day and the opportunity that we all have to be as to be here and to be a part of it. Lord, we thank you that you gave us work, honorable work, all of our work, uh, work that enables the community to grow and to thrive. And Lord, I pray a special blessing upon the business leaders that are gathered here today, that you would reward them and that you would honor them as they honor you. Thank you now, Father, for the food that you've provided and in all the things that we do, may we always give you the honor and the glory, for it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Would you stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Charles. We appreciate that. Today is always a very, very special day because it's an opportunity for the Chamber to partner with Bone McAllister Norton and Atkinson Insurance Agency. And it's an opportunity for, for us to recognize some special folks in the community. And Charles, we did get started a little earlier, but I figured we could give you a little extra time. We have, um, we've had this event to uh, recognize those folks and the person who's going to make those presentations today is Charles Bone, who is the principal with Bone, Mc Bone McAllister Norton. And so if you will help me welcome Charles. Thank you, uh, Brenda. Um, I have uh, had the honor of being a member of the Hendersonville Chamber for uh, 43 years. So I, since uh, many of you were born, uh, born after that, uh, uh, there are some privileges of uh, tenure, and uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is one of them. Um, again, some of you will not remember Ralph Hanning but Ralph Hanning was a giant in this community for many years. He was a Yankee who moved here in 1972, and he moved right in. And he did everything you could do to promote 
this city, this community, uh, and our business community here. Ralph Hanning Realtors was the name of his business uh, when he, uh, uh, that he had for a long, long period of time, and uh, he was uh, instrumental. You know, I'm, I won't go into you know, his accolades because uh, they are long and varied and many, but uh, he was uh, a giant in this community and a person uh, we are proud to continue to recognize uh, every year with this annual award. Uh, and uh, Hugh Atkinson uh, and our, with Atkinson Insurance and our law firm have uh, traditionally uh, annually underwritten the cost of the award uh, and therefore I get to make the presentation today. It's not just about being old, it's about kind of being at the right place at the right time. So um, I am um, especially honored today to um, present this award uh, to two individuals. We've not done that before, but we have a very special situation in Sumner County and in Hendersonville um, this year. And uh, we are, uh, I want to take just a moment, if I could, and tell you how blessed we have been as a community, as a county, to have the two judges we have had for so many years in Sumner County. Uh, Buck Rogers, who recently uh, uh, passed away, and Tom Gray. Uh, these guys, <laughs> these guys and their wives uh, have been uh, involved in everything in this community for years and years. Again, uh, going back as far as I go. And uh, we are just uh, so pleased today to be able to recognize them and recognize their spouses uh, as a part of this uh, presentation and as a part of this award. I want to just say to you, there's a lot going on uh, in America, uh, in the state of Tennessee, a lot of discussion about uh, judges, how they should be selected, what kind of ethics they should have, how they could, should perform. No place, nowhere ever in America has a community had two judges who have served the way these two guys have served for many years here in Sumner County. When you go all across the state in particular, because that's kind of where I go, uh, you know, I, I can't say all across America, but you go all across the state and somebody says, well, where do, where do you go? Where, you know, where do you go to court? Where are you from? And I say Sumner County. They say, let me tell you, you don't know how lucky you are. You don't know how fortunate you are to have had the two judges you've had for these many years in Sumner County. And I'm not going to go into all of their background. I, you know, again, I could talk about both of these guys for uh, forever and their spouses. Uh, but let me say, Buck Rogers uh, came back to Hendersonville, um, I think in 1975, while wow, uh, to go to work with me and Tom Goodall uh, on the square in Gallatin, uh, and uh, went from there to, to from being a great lawyer uh, to be, being a great judge and. Uh, you know, it's very unusual to find judges these days who will involve themselves in the community. So many judges feel crowded out, that they feel embarrassed, they feel like they can't go to church with the people they are um, involved with in a courtroom or with lawyers. Uh, Buck and Tom Gray uh, have never had that never had that problem and they've never had that problem about being fair they've never they, no, they've never nobody's ever said well let me say losers always say <clears throat> I, I always tell I, I always tell uh, young lawyers you know the way you judge a judge is by 
the last time you were in the courtroom and whether you won or not. So I, I, I'll confess that. But you've never hear, you never hear a complaint about Buck Rogers or Tom Gray. Tom Gray came here, he was an outsider uh, from Shelbyville and then from as president of Martin College in Pulaski and uh, came to Ball State. Uh, and uh, then uh, some of us uh, talked him into uh, leaving education and uh, uh, joining uh, the ranks of the, of the judges, and that was a great decision for the people of Sumner County. So I want to just ask uh, Lyle to come forward and uh, Tom Gray and Janice to come forward and uh, Hugh to come forward and uh, let's uh, uh, acknowledge them and uh, their great work and thank them for the great service they've ha been to Sumner County. without crying, but thank you to Charles and Hugh and all the chamber. What a wonderful honor this is. I really don't know if I did. Buck loved Hendersonville. He loved being a lawyer. He loved working with so many of you. He loved being a judge, and he couldn't wait. He was so excited about the next eight years because no one was running against him, so he was really excited. <laughs> And he was so excited that he was elected for eight more years. What a true honor this is. Buck would be so honored and so thrilled for this award, just as my daughter Mary Catherine and I are. We're so honored. Thank you so much, and thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, rather difficult. <clears throat> I was thinking this morning about uh, Bucks coming into practice law because uh, and I, we're off a little bit of the date. I don't know whether it's 1975 or 1977, but he joined a great firm when he joined uh, uh, Bone and Goodall and Bone, and he had two great mentors. Uh, and Tom, uh, Thomas Goodall was just an extremely wise person and Charles was wise and knew how to uh, look at the rules and regulations that he had to and, and to deal with those in, especially in the banking industry. But I appreciate so very much your, your kindness uh, and uh, my colleague, Judge C.L. Buck Rogers, is greatly missed. Thank you. Charles, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, in just a minute, I'll bring you on up. That, that'll be good. He's only got 45 more minutes uh, to, to go there. I, I want to thank again Hugh Atkinson and Charles Bone and, and all of the folks in their firms for being a sponsor of this award on an annual basis. It's just such a wonderful opportunity for us to recognize people in the community who have done great, great things. And thanks again to the families. Uh, of Buck Rogers and, and Tom um, and Janice and, and all of you. So thank you for being here. 
One of the things I want to do before we move forward with the program is also to recognize any of the elected officials who might be here in the room. I know I saw a couple of folks, and I'm not going to try to name all of you. So if you would do me the favor and honor of standing up and uh, telling us who you are, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else here who is an elected official? Well, Representative Rogers, you appear to be, uh, oh, I'm sorry, where? Oh, I can't see you. <laughs> You couldn't see me either. <laughs> Mayor Foster, Hendersonville, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. So with that, I, I have the, um, the sad duty, but also the happy duty of introducing our outgoing board chair. Lisa Byers with Goddard School is uh, has been a great, great mentor of mine this past year. She has served with dignity and wisdom for our chamber over the last 12 months. And I know that at our last board meeting in late May, she had the biggest smile on her face. And I think I understand why, but um, we are going to miss you in that role, but we're not going to let her go because she will continue to serve on the board as the immediate past chair, will continue to serve on our chamber foundation board and, and that sort of thing. So we're not letting you go, we're just changing the roles a little bit. So I have a presentation to make to her, so if you all will help me welcome Lisa Byers. We probably should have done this before the board meeting started because she might have had the gavel that she could have called everybody <laughs> down with. <laughs> but, but this is uh, the gavel that we're presenting to you that you can actually put up on a wall somewhere. Not, not the one that you pick up and hit somebody <laughs> over the head with. Uh, but we want to recognize Lisa Byers as our 2013-2014 board chair. Thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Brenda, for your kind words and for this wonderful gavel. Um, well, I want to start by first saying, saying something that I think we all know, and that is that the city of Hendersonville is truly blessed in many ways. That we not only have great schools, great quality of life, but we have an outstanding chamber of commerce. Would you agree? I would suspect, like some of you, um, I've been a member of various chambers around Middle Tennessee, and I can say from firsthand experience that the Hendersonville Chamber truly does stand apart. And much like the city of Hendersonville itself, what truly makes the difference are the people, just great people in our chamber. And when we talk about great people, quality people, right at the top we have to talk about ben Brenda Payne. In Brenda's role as CEO and President of the Hendersonville Area Chamber of Commerce, she has done and continues to do a phenomenal job. She's, vi she's visionary, she's passionate for her community, she has outstanding business acumen, she seems to understand every sector of business, amazing interpersonal skills, a crazy work ethic, and she does it all looking amazing. <laughs> Um, I, say all, uh, I say all those things and truly mean it. You are an amazing leader, and I just want to take a second for us all to just recognize Brenda Payne for her efforts. <laughs> An additional accolade for Brenda would be her ability to attract talent. She has done a great job assembling a staff of, it just happens to be young women, <laughs> who are all blonde, <laughs> who 
who are awesome. If you, it doesn't matter how complicated or simple the question, they always can help you and they always have an answer. So I just want to take a minute to recognize Wendy, Amanda, Cassie, Allison, and our new, and Melissa, who recently joined us, for always being helpful, but more importantly, always being just highly effective and efficient. They do a lot with, with very few resources. So let's just acknowledge our Hendersonville Chamber staff. Thank you, guys. At its heart, the Chamber is about business growth and community development. Much of what gets done can be attributed to our membership, all of those people in this room today. Volunteering their time, their uh, giving their skills, their expertise to the community. This year, there were over 200 volunteers supporting chamber work, which is quite impressive. Among them are our board members, who we'd like to recognize for sharing their time, their gifts, their expertise to help us plan, strategize, and support chamber activity. There are a lot of meetings that, go, that take place in order for um, the chamber to run, and we really do appreciate our board members who are volunteers. Collectively, with efforts from the staff, volunteers, and the board, it really has been a productive year. And I want to share just a glimpse of what has, what has been accomplished by all of our efforts. I probably should mention that much like the city of Hendersonville is growing, so is our chamber. Over the past 10 years, chamber membership is up 40%. We currently have 825 members, and over the past year, 130 new members enrolled or were recruited. This year, we conducted 37 ribbon cuttings. I think Brenda jokes that it feels like it was like 237, because <laughs> there's often a ribbon cutting, which is great. It just signifies growth in the city. We also started the Indian Lake Business Council for our local businesses in the Indian Lake area. We developed a retail council and conducted a shop dine discover event with 16 area boutiques and restaurants. We had 230. 238 unique members attend a business after hour event, 137 attend leads. We had 228 members who attended at least one of our luncheons. We partnered and implemented the Mid-Tennessee Business Voice. We planned and implemented professional development workshops with 250 attendees representing 86 firms through our Young Professionals Council, and they're doing a great job. We hosted Congressman Diane Black, Mayor Carl Dean, TDOT Commissioner John Schroer, <laughs> and we have Senator Corker coming in August. We conducted approximately 160 meetings across all of our program pillars, and we produced eight special events like the Taste of Hendersonville, the Mid-10 Home Show, um, and other signature events for the Chamber. We conducted an online survey for County Commission, uh, the primary, and published the results. We planned and implemented the second annual Golden Apple event, recognizing our local teachers, Assist, assisted the city in, of Hendersonville and Forward Sumner in the relocation of a new corporate office to Hendersonville. The list goes on and on. Just a lot of impressive work. Um, I, I just want to mention we, a few other things, that we partnered with Beautiful Hendersonville to build a new welcome sign for the city um, at the west entrance of the community. I don't know if anyone has seen those signs yet, or that sign yet, but it um, is an improvement. And we provided financial support through our foundation to Ball State Community College, the Union University, and Compass. So plenty of good work, and that's a glimpse. There's plenty more, that I'm, but I'm not going to read all. <laughs> but just a hand of applause for good work put on by the chamber, the staff, and the board. Okay. So as I roll off as chair, um, we also have some board members who put in their time, their two-year term, um, and they're rolling off the board this year, and we want to recognize them as well. So when I call your name, um, please come to the front so that you can be recognized and we can take a group picture. Let's see. So is, uh, we're going to call Brandon Bell with Sam's Club, Barry Hardwick with Grub and Alice, Richard Luisi with Chick-fil-A, Dr. Greg Motes with Premier Orthopedic, Michael Morrison with Hendersonville Medical Center, Pam Thomas with Piedmont Natural Gas, Stephen Williams with Edward Jones, and then I would also like to um, call up our executive 
committee. First, I'm going to call up our immediate past chair, Lynn Silverman at Hunt of, Hunt of Huntington Learning Center in the Minerva Group. Uh, we also have Ken Llewellyn with Tennessee Business Group, who was our vice chair of Connect. Barry's already here. Barry served two roles on our board. He was also the vice chair of the Advocate Pillar. Robin Lyons with Remax Choice Properties, vice chair of Promote. And Matt Lawson with Comcast Spotlight, who was our vice chair of support. Please give them all a, a, a round of applause. great pleasure that I introduce our 2014-15 chair, Gina Scott. Um, I am so excited to see what happens over the next year under Gina's leadership. Gina is an amazing, experienced businesswoman who truly understands the various facets of business. From finance to marketing to people development strategy, she truly gets it. I've had an opportunity to observe Gina working with business leaders from various, um, various industries, and she consistently contributes best practices, a unique perspective on how to do something, or just helpful advice. Her exceptional experience will make Gina an excellent chair of the chamber. In addition, the first time I met Gina, within five minutes I felt like we were old friends. She's that type of person. She's just a good, good people, yet very, very intelligent and very smart, and she will serve the chamber well. Um, I'm going to read her formal bio as well. Um, Gina Scott joined Pinnacle Small Business and Medical Practice Specialty in 2007. She specializes in professional corporations and medical practices. In addition to her extensive private banking experience, Gina leads Pinnacle's nonprofit banking initiative. She brings 30 plus years of experience to her role. She's a senior vice president and financial advisor at Pinnacle. She began her career at Third National Bank in 1980. In addition to her recent appointment as chairman of the board of the Hendersonville Chamber, Gina has served as the treasurer of Leadership Middle Tennessee. She has previously served on the boards of Henderson Rot Hendersonville Rotary Club, Girls on the Run, Salvation Army Adult Rehab Rehabilitation Center, Hendersonville Chamber of Commerce, and Dismas House. She has been named the Volunteer of the Year from the Sumner County YMCA. And she is an awesome person, and please help me welcome our new chair, Gina Scott. Wow, I have to follow this. She's so amazing. Lisa has been such an inspiration for me. Taking on this role is, um, is very overwhelming and uh, such an honor to be able to take this role on. But following Lisa is, is gonna be a tough job. However, I've watched her diligently. I've taken lots of notes at board meetings. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but I want to make sure that I'm uh, doing as, as good a job as Lisa. Uh, it, sometimes it's kind of hard to explain how honored you are to take on a position or be asked to take on a position. But in this case, I do have a, a little quick story to tell you guys about just how honored I am to take this position on. So Lisa calls me about a year ago <laughs> to ask me if I will uh, take this position. Well, I didn't really understand what she was asking me. So I thought that she was asking me to take on a position of a, a committee chair. And I was like, okay, Lisa, well, you know, I'm not really sure. Can you send me the job description so I can really figure out if I can make this commitment and divine a little time? Uh, and she was, I could tell she was a little stumped, but she, <laughs> she sent me the job description of the chair elect. And I called her and said, you've sent me the wrong job description. This is the chair elect. I think you meant to send me, send me a committee chair um, 
uh, job description and she goes no I was wondering if you just didn't like this kind of thing but we're asking you to be the chair elect of the chamber <laughs> so I was so blown away and so honored and it never occurred to me that I would be asked to do this so it truly is an honor this year is going to be a year of change a pivotal year for us uh, with changes at the end of the year that I won't talk too much about right now because it makes me so sad uh, however, it is going to be a fun year, and I cannot wait to get even more entrenched in the chamber than I already am, so thank you. Okay, so my job today is to read the list of our board members for 2013 through 15, and as I read your name, please come up and stand to one side, and we're going to do a photo op again, and uh, following that, we will be, I'll be mentioning the members of 2014-16 through 16. Okay, so I don't think I've seen Lisa Curtis here, but Lisa Curtis is with uh, Curtis Builders, Regina Gammons with Hendersonville Produce, Mike Incravaya with Navito Technologies, Kristen Interest with Travel Links, Matt Lawson with Comcast Spotlight, Comcast Spotlight Melanie Lowe with Cornerstone Primary Healthcare, Taylor Walker with Wilson Banking Trust. These are our 2013 through 15 board members. And then uh, the next group, if you'll stand to the other side, we'll get the picture. Uh, Regina Bartlett from Hendersonville Medical Center, Dr. Jerry Faulkner with Ball State Community College, Mike Finland with Newark Network Solutions Group, Debbie Grisco with Smith Travel Research, Corey Langford with Black Eyed Pea, Joe Rewa with Hendersonville Utility District, and Mariana Wommeldorf, an individual member. All right, now I'm going to list the uh, executive committee. We have uh, Mike Incravaya, who is our chair elect, so you get to do this next year. <laughs> I'm recording your speech. <laughs> <laughs> you better record hers. Okay, and then we have Lisa, who's already up here, is our, at, from the Goddard School, as our immediate past chair. Greg Wilson with Actors Point Theater, who is the vice chair of the Connect Pillar. Matt Lawson of Comcast Spotlight, vice chair of Advocate Pillar. Jamie Wallace with Realty Trust Residential LLC. She's the Vice Chair of Promote Pillar. Mariana Wombledorf, the Vice Chair of Support Pillar. Catherine Gupton with Hardy, Account Hardy Accounting. She's our treasurer again, and we're so excited about that. Uh, Marty Cook, who's our legal counsel, and he's with Bone McAllister Norton. And this is our new board and committee. You all I appreciate that. And now we're going to move on to announcements with Wendy. And one thing that we do every month is recognize those members that have joined since the last luncheon. And this year we're going to do a little different. We're going to put them up for you to read the whole luncheon. So please. If you don't mind, if you see any of these um, businesses, please visit them. Welcome them to the chamber because it's going to be a great year and we're so glad to have them. And Allison Muncy is now um, acting as a sales um, membership salesperson. So if you know of businesses that you think could benefit from joining our chamber, please pass those names on to her so that she can give them a visit. Or you can just sign them up. We won't, we won't complain about that if you tell them to do that. And... So we don't forget anything. The first thing that we want to do today is recognize um, the display table. So we had two, um, Dr. Stamper with Visionary um, Vision Source, new change, change of name. So I'm going to bring him up and then um, Sarah Jo is going to come up with Comcast. So if you want to come up and get ready and then as soon as we do that we'll give you some announcements so don't take off. Hi, I'm Eric Stamper. I'm the optometrist at Vision Source of Hendersonville, and as she was uh, mentioning, we changed our name in February. So we were a Visionary Eye Care Center, 
been a chamber member since we opened back in uh, 2008. Uh, and the name change, the change of the name is a marketing reason. Nothing else has changed about the business, just the name. So uh, the reason I'm here today is to invite you guys all to our trunk show. It's our big event that we do every year, and is this Thursday, so two days from now. There's cards about it on the table, so I won't give you all the details, other than to say there will be champagne and appetizers and free chair massages from Beverly Sims. Uh, but there'll be a big sale, and it'll be a lot of fun. Also on the tables, there's. Um, little cleaners so anybody that wants some uh, lens cleaner please take one of those and you get free refills whenever you bring it into our office so uh anyways hope to see some of you guys thursday uh we'll do the sale all day the our frame vendors will be there 11 to 4. Uh, but i drew a gift card uh, well we've got a gift card to carabas and so the people that dropped their names in there i drew a name and the winner of our 25 dollars gift card to carabas is barry young from the sumner county visitors bureau <laughs> Joe Hoagland, Director of Government Affairs and Public Relations for Comcast in Middle Tennessee. And uh, first, I want to thank the Chamber for giving us the opportunity to be here today. Um, each year, Comcast asks principals and guidance counselors to help us identify the best and the brightest high school seniors for recognition as leaders and achievers. Our signature scholarship program rewards young people for getting involved in their schools and making a difference in their communities. In recognition of their community service, their academic achievement, and their leadership skills, winners receive a one-time college scholarship. Today, I'm very happy to recognize our winners from Hendersonville who will receive a $1,000 scholarship through this program. And um, I will announce and if you, you'll come up and stay up, we'll get a group photo. So our first winner is Lauren Hutchinson. And Lauren is gonna tell us where she goes to school and where she will be going to school. Um, I just graduated from Hendersonville High School and I will be attending the University of Tennessee at Knoxville next fall. That's where I went, so I told her she's got to find a good balance of having fun and studying. Um, our next winner is Anna Lewis. I just graduated from Merrill Hyde Magnet, and I'll be attending Indiana University at Bloomington in this fall. winner here today is Savannah Lindsay. Um, I just graduated from Hendersonville Christian Academy and I will be attending uh, Trevecca Nazarene University in the fall. collections July 6th through the 26th so um, Thana is here and she can probably give you a lot more information but at the chamber we always have a cute little bus and you can bring by supplies anytime you like um, our Leeds exchange meetings are always a great time and the July luncheon 
if you want, it's a little early, but the Ju it's July 1st. If you wanted to bring something with you next month, we'd be happy to collect it for you and take it back for the bus. So be on the lookout. I imagine we'll let you know about that a few more times. Um, just to run through some other activities that y'all, you get to hear almost every month, but we, we know you have to hear it a lot to remember all of these meetings. But from a connection pillar, we have leads every Wednesday. In those meetings, we have 25 to 40 people. So if you're looking for a way to build relationships, come visit us at the chamber from noon to one. Um, the business after hours this month will be at the Lighthouse Wedding and Event Center, co-hosted with the Lighthouse and First State Bank. And that will be June 19th from five to seven. You don't want to miss that. Um, we have a very special banquet coming up. The Night Among the Stars will be held right here on June 12th. Um, we're still taking reservations, so be sure to go online and get, um, get reserved because you don't want to miss it. We will recognize the large and small business of the year as well as our volunteer of the year. So come out and see who those winners are and help celebrate and congratulate them. Um, support opportunities. Amanda does a really wonderful job to do a member we call it, it's a member orientation. We call it everything when I email you because we're just trying to get you there. But once a month, we go over all of the ins and outs of what the Chamber's about. It's more than leads and a luncheon. Um, there's so many, I think we have 23 active com committees that you could get involved in. So if you want to learn a little bit more, maybe have some assistance with how you get on to register for events like this because we get a lot of calls where people have a little trouble. We go over all of that. And it's a great way to introduce yourself. So, and we feed you free. So there is a free lunch if you come to an orientation once a month. Um, you can sign up online. It's very simple. Um, this, and I think Amanda mentioned this last month, we are about to do the final printed edition of our preferred business directory. Everything's gone online. Um, so this will be the final print we do. So um, I need help getting those in the hands of our members. This is a great networking opportunity, and if you would like to help get these books out, I have 830 of them to deliver. Um, so I need 830 volunteers. Not really, but if I get 25 to 30 people usually get these books out. So if you will please volunteer, I would appreciate it. And we do it logistically to make it easy for you. But it is a really great time for you to meet some people. Instead of making cold calls, you get to go in and introduce yourself. And I think, unless y'all can think of anything else, I think that concludes our um, announcements. But there's going to be one um, big change that you're going to see starting in July. We are going to extend this meeting. We're going to start um, have it start at 11 a.m. instead of 11.30. The food and everything else will go just like we always have. But everybody says we want more time to network. And, and everybody gets here and they're having such a great time talking. And then we feel like we have to cut y'all short to tell you to get in line to eat. So we decided we'll extend it so you can come a little early and we still get you out by one. So kind of be marking your calendar and be looking for those so that you don't miss out on that chance to, you know, there's always 80 to 120 people here. So you want to have a little more time to talk to them. So starting July, try to get here a little early. And we have one drawing. And if your card didn't go in, then you're gonna miss it. But Signature Cleaners always gives us a wonderful gift certificate. And the winner, Christopher Gray, with the National Predators. I need my readers. And I think we're early, but have, you know, feel free to stick around a little while. 